So I don't know whether you can hear us because the microphone's broken and we're waiting for a new one to turn up. Do so. A new two. Uh, we're in out of breath again. We're on our way to, well, we're in Thirsk. And we're stopping at the old red house again, which is a free pub car park stopover as long as you have something to eat and a little drinky. But we're just going to head into Thirsk to the old red bar, which is a craft union pub. God, it got loud all of a sudden, didn't Very it? Loud. <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> Oh, the sun shines out again, though. Yeah, you nice. feel the warmth on your back. Yeah. It's lovely. It's February and it's quite warm. So we're going to a craft union pub, and I think it's about... It won't be more, much more than £2.40 a pint. Something like that. So, yeah, we're going to go and watch the rugby. And uh, Brenda's going to try not to fall over this time. Oh, God, yeah. We're crying. <laughs> Smashed her face in. I'd be racing then. I thought we'd yeah. up my teeth now. Now that she didn't look, she survived. She's got a beautiful straight teeth now. <laughs> and you can see behind us, somewhere down there, there's Stephen Mandy bringing up the rear. <laughs> An Eddie dog, of course. But yeah, let's go and get some beer. More beer. A cup of tea, yeah. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. Yep, the James Harriet Hall. This is the uh, racetrack. Is it called a racetrack? It was. What do you call it? At Thirsk. So the racetrack here has a campsite on it as well. I think it's the um, Camping and Caravan Club, possibly. Or it could be just the Caravan Club. I don't know. Every time I try and talk, there's a bloody car comes past. It's Very road. annoying. <laughs> Damn road! <laughs> so we're just approaching yeah, the uh, the campsite where we stopped before. But it didn't end very well, that little visit. <laughs> that was when we had the caravan a few years ago, a couple of years ago. And I ended up in uh, hospital on that occasion. It's a lovely little track. We have been. Uh -huh. He's Eddie. There he is. There he is. Loves his dad. <laughs> yeah, we came to first once on uh, race day. And it was really good, actually. It was uh, great for people watching, wasn't it? Loads of uh, drunk yes. people having lots of fun. And we had lots of fun watching them. So 9th of April, the next one, I think we'll do that again. Yeah. On our little uh, secret campsite that we're not going to tell you about. We are, really. Clennon, what's it called? Clennon Grange? Yeah. I think. So here is, I believe... Is that's right, yeah, that's where you're driving. Just where we went in. Yeah, no. Is that good? Is that it? Yeah. Is it shut down then? Yeah, let's go straight up through the box then now though. Shall we? Yeah, but why isn't it open? Out of season, some are open, only open until November and then March. Because they have to shift for three or four, depending on the license. Mm -hmm. I see. So if you do come and stop on this uh, campsite at the race course, we've got a little right next to it. And the Tesco right over the road as well. That's if you can hear me. Just through this little uh, pathway here. The Ginnel, is it a Ginnel? <laughs> it's not. Depends where you're from in the It's just a path. You swearing on my video. <laughs> and of course, if you didn't know, Thirsk is the place where the character James Harriet is from. Uh, the original guy who wrote it is uh, Alf Wright, 
Half white, man. Half white. White, white man. <laughs> and he uh, wrote, I'm sure you know all about it anyway. The movies, it shouldn't happen to a vet. What were the movies called? What, what were the movies called? <laughs> All creatures great and small, and it shouldn't happen to a vet. Is that right? To that room, right yeah. And what's the TV program called? All creatures like great and small. small. Oh, that's the one we watch now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, the original one was called that as well. Apparently, that's what the past used to call it. Though, uh, creatures great and small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe his house is just around the corner. We've been in before. The is. Uh, another video i'll put the link on again while we do a little tour around it well worth going into and if you're a member of the caravan club which we aren't anymore i think it was like buy one get one free or half price or something like that let's have a look oh i'm not where i thought we were <laughs> it's around the next corner Hey there. Uh, We're on the day where they have to say yes to everything. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> she said yes. Yeah. It is a cracking little town, but as you can see, it does get very busy. And one of our favourite shops is around here somewhere. Not the Vape Lounge. I've lost it. Oh, there was a market on earlier on when we came through, but that appears to have disappeared now. We've all gone home. Ah, he's the hardware shop. Brenda loves it in here. Are you not going in? Yeah. Behave, man. Come on. Pub. Pub. Every time, can go past it. It is. It's even better than the Yorkshire Trading Company. Ooh. Doggy things. I always think this place looks gorgeous. But uh, I'd like to say it's because we've got the dog we can't go in, but I think it's more down to price. <laughs> Where are we going? This way. There's the red bear. That's where we're going. Can we afford one of these? 300,000? Look at that. Just a crappy yeah. little house. 300,000 pound. Got to be kidding. Four bedrooms. Yeah, it's 300,000 pound. Look at that little terrace house. 160 grand. We paid 11 for hours. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's a little bit there too, yeah. Move them all, yeah. 600,000! Blimey. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one. Oh, yeah. We'll have two of them. I might live in the little annex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's around the corner here where the uh, James Harriet Museum is. I think it's a little bit further up. Yeah, so if you keep on going up there, you'll get to James Harriet Museum. Right. Tell you what. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> if you want to look at our uh, trip round Thursk, are we in Thursk? Yeah. Then I'll put a link up there. You can have a look at that. Here we go, red bear. These are back way in as well. <coughs> Looks like somebody's had a big weed on it there. One. Mind the step, don't be falling over again. <laughs> That's what Brenda took over last time. <laughs> 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 
Steve's just, just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Sorry, So that was a pint of uh, Strongbow Cider and a half of John Smith's side, uh, John Smith's beer even. How much do you reckon? I think it was around about 385. Yeah. Bargain. A bit lower than you mind. <laughs> what do you think of that, Ed? You've trashed it, haven't you? Trashed it. Oh man, stand up. <laughs> Rugby time. What did you say? You said, oh man, stand up. Oh, you're in one of them moods, are you? <laughs> yeah, I've got that for you. What's going on here? Uh, Eddie found my bank card, bank me. Couldn't think of all that. <laughs> well, it's not great news for the England match. Well, it's not great news for the England-Scotland match. We're currently getting fried. <laughs> Again. Come on, 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 come Feet again. Feet again. What can you do? Lovely see you. Goodbye. 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 So long. Farewell. Farewell. I'll see you goodbye. And Mandy's dancing in the back. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> beggars. It's like what's old. what's this shit you're giving me, bro? Some shit lamb burgers. Lamb burgers. That's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> we used to, like come up the youthy and this ship would be there. Come up with Gemini and the twins. Can I have a smelly hamburger, please? And this is what we used to get. Gemini's where we met. Yeah, the Gemini and the twins. But we haven't got onions though. Do you want onions on your burger? What you got on? Jam is already thick. Is it getting warm in here? Yes, it's getting cozy warm. What's the temperature? 16 degrees now. Diesel eater, good. Is it done? This is probably the worst thing we've ever cooked in the caravan. Not a caravan, more at home. And uh, look, at, look at the state of it. Well, you know what? It's going to taste really good. Dirty baggers. What the hell am I eating? Shit. Me this morning. It's a wee bit frosty this morning. It was even cold in the van overnight, but nice and snugly warm now with the diesel heater on. Eddie, hello. Are you coming through? Wanna come? Come on then. <laughs> come on then. No, are you not coming? No, where's your dad? Where's Steve? 
Where is he? Is it cold enough for you? Yeah, I love it. How cold were you through the night? A little bit. And I wasn't sure on the battery, so I didn't put the heat on. Because uh, um, it wasn't yeah. fully charged. Yeah, well, it's fully charged, so I wasn't sure. If it, I don't want to drag it down, I don't want to damage it. So, so I was leaving, I couldn't be able to put the heat off on. Because she couldn't put it to buy the app, so I would have to get out of bed. And... Doing some good uh, pausing there with the tea and coffee machines. <laughs> got your glasses on again. Got your glasses on again. Have you got your makeup on? Have you got your teeth in? Go away. Teeth in. <laughs> Sounds like you've got false teeth. <laughs> Cheers. Are you putting your face on? <laughs> Washing my face. Where do you leave your face on the night when you take it off? Outside, so it tightens up in the cold. It's not working. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Cheeky. Bit of a disaster. <laughs> it's uh, curtains fell off. So I don't know what's that one there. Must have just popped off the rails. I don't like it anyway. I'm getting sick of this stupid curtain. Right, it can just stay down for now because I can't be asked. <laughs> Bollocks to it. Well done, that man. <laughs> what is it? Trout? Yeah, trout. It's a beauty, isn't it? Do you mind if I video it? No, I will. Brilliant. <laughs> don't fall in. Uh, Be good for the video if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. So we've parked in the big coach car park over here, which is not far from the um, market, is it marketplace or is it just the town centre? Mm -hmm. And it's free on a Sunday, so it's not bad, is it? So we're just going to have a little walk in, uh, show you around a little bit and uh, grab something to eat, I do believe. What do you fancy? Yeah, we'll have some to eat. What do you fancy then? I don't know. Have a look at the menu. I'll have a look. Menu? Menu. <laughs> so you've got a couple of dog friendly pubs here as well, you've got the Black Bull which has been done out recently I think and uh, the one Brenda's heading towards, the Mowbray. We've had some good time sat in here in the window, especially on race day and I'm sure dogs can come in there too and there's a spoons over the road there for three tons There's the more brother. Right, where's she gone? She's gone off and left me. She must be starving. Yeah. You do like a second hand shop, you mind, don't you? Yeah, I do. We've got enough junk in our house without getting more. Your junk. No. All your junk. I don't think so. It is. What? You want these nice brown pots? Do you? I didn't say I want them nice brown pots. <laughs> I'm looking in the window. What about them? They're trendy. <laughs> I like them actually. <laughs> no, I like the wine decanter. The wine decanter thing. Oh, yeah. There's another good little pub down here, just in the distance there, the, the little three, which dogs are welcome in there as well. It is very busy though, isn't it? It's a one way system. Uh, works well, I guess, but you've got to be aware of all the cars. I love this. Why didn't they have this when I wanted my air cut when I was a little? Or even now, I'd sit in it now. So here's the, uh, that's the outside area of the little three pub. It's sort of oldie worldy style inside as well. It's nice. So I just wanted to bring you round to the uh, river, really show you either side, see if there's any little duckies. It's nice to have a little bit of uh, winter sunshine. Hopefully spring's just round the corner. We'll see ya. I think it's going to get cold. Well, it is cold. It was actually, I think, about the coldest it's ever been in the van. It said it was four degrees when I grew up, but it felt colder than that. 
So good job we got that five kilowatt diesel eater that did the trick. I'm not sure where all them berries are, but there's plenty of them. Here's a little river, it's flown a little bit faster than it normally does. I can't remember what the river is, but I'll look it up and let you know. Do you fancy living over there? Yeah, I do. Looks a bit floody to me. We've <laughs> uh, got the all along before it catches you. Yeah, I guess you'd be alright. Let's have another look. Let's have a look on the other side. It's so great. Pretty much the same. No ducks. Disappointed. Right, should we go to uh, Spoons? Yeah. Right, let's go for dinner. This is just to pretend one of me uh, walking in, because as you know, I forgot to record it. But it's a candy little pub. It's cheap enough. Didn't taste of anything, but hey, there you go. We're going to have bread. Haven't got a clue. Still Finch and chimps and mushy bees. No. <laughs> well, I've just done some bread filming, uh, showing you around first, and uh, walking into the pub and sitting down at our lovely table and that. But, nah, I wasn't recording it. I was just recording my feet as I walked along the street. Such an idiot. Again. Quitty. What are we having for breakfast? It's not really breakfast, is it? It's brunch. It's called brunch. Chips, sausage, bacon, egg, beans. Not clear beans. Not in a pot. Yes. So you've got your normal array of charity shops. British Heart Foundation. We've got Cancer Research and Blue Cross, I believe it is. And there's, there's quite a few more over the road there as well. I think it's indicative of all towns now. Seem to be full of charity shops. Where are you going, Bren? What you're after? <laughs> you want a Twix, don't you? You're a pig. It's not good for the diet. Now, do you think a little bypass would be good for this town, or would it ruin it? Hmm. Let's get across. Can just have a little walk around. <laughs> I like the dog. <laughs> like a clock. Mm. I might start collecting them, what do you think? I think not. No? So this is your All Creatures Great and Small house where all the stories actually sort of took place or where he made them up anyway. But it, apparently they're all based on, on truth. So blue that's the... Plaque. You want to have a look at the blue plaque then? Mm. We'll have to wait, there's a queue. So there you go, it's official. <laughs> we enjoyed it. Brenda said this was an interesting doorbell and I had to video it. So, is that why you talk into it? It's just your height there. Go on, then you talk no, into it. It's for me to hear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need more than that for your ear. <laughs> and the church at the end there, I'll zoom in a little bit, that's where they actually got married. So, James, not James White. Oh, I'll get it right in a minute. What's he called? James Harriet. No, he's called. 
white. Mmm, pie shop. We've just been fed, mind, but it does look, it does look, <laughs> yeah, it does look like a nice pie shop. So more second-hand shops, charity shops. Is there any real shops at all? Oh, there's a the red veil that we were in last night. Well, we never got drunk at all. There you go, I promised you some ducks. Mr. and Mrs. Duck there. So sorry for eating your cousins the other day. What do you mean? I have no idea what that is. But it's amazing. Oh, he's off. Surely that's the rarest bird you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Where's it gone? It's hiding from me. I'm not chasing you. Oh, I am a bit. I can honestly say I have never seen one of them birds in my life. Right, that's another one over. It was just a little impromptu trip out to Thursk. We've had a decent enough time, haven't we? We've yeah. had a good, good laugh with Steve and Mandy and Eddie Dog. The weather's been nice and sunny. Weather's fantastic. Freezing cold this morning in the caravan. But, uh, caravan? We haven't got a caravan. <laughs> I've come back in time. Freezing cold in Foxy the van. There he is. Curtains fell down. <laughs> yeah, and the curtain fell down. But we're not bothered. I'm not going to put it back up. Can't be doing with it any longer. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you can. And where else should they do, Bren? Uh, subscribe. How much does it cost? It's free. How much free? Ooh. Absolutely we're free. Free as the air. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll catch you next time. So bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Oh.